Hello, in this video we're going to look at an example of two ideals that every ring has. So every ring has these two ideals. So every ring R has these two ideals. So what are they? Every, every single ring has them. So the ideals are R and zero, right, right here. These two, the entire ring and the ideal consisting of just zero. So we're gonna revisit this. We're gonna come back and talk about why these are ideal, why these are ideals. But let me just go ahead and define what is meant by an ideal. And then we'll come back and we'll discuss, you know, we'll just talk about why they satisfy the definition. So let R be a ring. And I a non-empty subset of R. Okay, so let R be a ring and I a non-empty subset of R. We say I is an ideal of R or in R, an ideal of R, if, well, the first condition uh, is that for any uh, x, y, and i, we have that x minus y is also an i. So the difference is going to be an i. You take any two elements in the ideal, the difference is there. So if you think about, if you think about our, our examples here, if you take any two elements in the ring and subtract them, is it there? Absolutely, right? Because subtraction, I mean, this is, this is defined, right? It's addition. I mean, it's, it has a, it's a binary operation on R. Yes, obviously. And, um, and here, well, 0 minus 0 is 0. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be true for both of these. 2, let's see if the next condition is true for both of these. So, for any x and i, r and r, we have... And we have two things here, okay? We're gonna have, we're gonna have um, R, X, and I, and X, R, and I. We're gonna have both, right? Always. And if it's a commutative ring, it's a non-issue, right? But let, let's think about that in, in the context here. So in both of these cases, right, this is I. Right, this is our I. Okay, so our R is R. So let's think about R. So both in, in the first case, I is R. So basically it's just saying R times R. So two elements in R, R and R. Yes, because there's a binary operation on R. It's a ring and that binary operation is called multiplication. So it's closed under multiplication. So it's a non-issue for, for this guy. For this one, well, if you take any element in R, call it little r, multiply it by zero, what are you going to get? You're going to get zero. Oh, and look at that. Where does that live? That lives in this set, right? So you take any R and big R, multiply it by this little guy, because that's the only thing, that's the only X that's in your I, right? Because it's a singleton set. That means it has one thing in it only. And you're just going to get zero, but that's in there. So it's, gonna, it's good, you're good. So it works, right? So it's satisfied. And, and then same thing here, right? Same thing here. It's no big deal here uh, with with this situation, right? Because it would just be zero times r, which is also zero, which is in this set. And for this case, it doesn't matter. So yeah, that's an uh, example of two ideals, r and the zero ideal, uh, that every single ring has. Hopefully you've learned um, some mathematics. Hey, hey, before I forget, I do have math courses, even an abstract algebra course. It's on Udemy, but check it out. It's, um, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, and yeah. I've got a course on abstract algebra. It's got some, some cool math. I've got calculus courses in trig and advanced calculus. Check them out, mathsorcerer.com. Take care.